Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Darren Charles and this month's book is Dear Lover by David Dieta. In addition to this book, we're also going to be covering David Dieta's other book, The Way of the Superior Man, so look for that video here next. But Dear Lover, it's a women's guide to men, sex, and love's deepest bliss. First of all, I want to point out again that this book is intended for women as a women's guide to men's sex and their deepest bliss, as it states. The author is also David Dieta, but it has been recommended by intimacy workers. Uh, the foreword is by Marianne Williamson as well. David Dieta has uh, been in the community working with uh, men and women's sexuality for quite some time, so I definitely recommend that you look him up if you're interested, if you want to continue to improve your relationships, um, your understanding of yourself, and how you can better show up to your relationships. But of course, you're here, you're um, watching some of my book reviews where I'm focusing on a lot of this content anyway. Um, because it is the month of February, Valentine's Day, love, that sort of thing. That's why I did the uh, these two books. So again, catch the next video so you can um, gain more understanding of the masculine uh, component of things. But regardless, there's a lot to learn in this book, whether you are a man or a woman. What's really unique about it is the way that it's expressed. It's written really as a love letter to uh, the feminine uh, from a masculine perspective. And what it allows is for the reader to feel and position themselves as though they are in that loving, intimate space to feel what it should feel like or what it could feel like to be in a uh, deeply uh, respected uh, romantic sexual relationship um, with another person, right? Um, I mean, we have that anyway in our own lives, but really what I'm trying to say is there's a deeper calling here. There's a deeper love that we can all offer to ourselves and to others. And this book does a tremendous job of allowing you to be in that space and to feel it. It's richly written. It's poetic. It's romantic. It's really intended to kind of pierce the layers of protection and the shells that are up over the heart. And if you're one of those people that shy away from romantic words or deep loving gestures or even if you're watching a film and you you know there's that loving part that romantic part or that kissing part and you kind of turn away from that you're going to want to stay in that space you're going to want to allow your heart to open uh, particularly as you read this book i mean that's ultimately really what all this is about right life is about love love of family love of others love of self and how we can get to a better understanding of those elements I don't know if I've ever come across a book that is that intentional and that poetic to, to get us to see and feel ultimately what we really want to be feeling in different scenarios in our relationships and in our lives. What the feminine will really enjoy from reading this book is almost similar to perhaps a romance novel where your heart is being called to and... David is expressing how the masculine wants to see you, how the masculine wants to feel you, and the nuances of a woman bringing her heart forth and sharing her emotions. David reminds us that giving your full heart and receiving the fullest love is possible. And in order to achieve one's deepest desires, one must have an open heart. And ultimately what the feminine wants is a masculine man who is unwavering in integrity and is there to claim your heart. I love this book for these reasons and so much more. You, you, you want to take in all of the words and the nuances because he's really pointing to some very deep underlying things. A recommendation is if you're reading the book, the, the chapters are a little bit on the shorter side, which is great. Take the time to create an environment or a space where you can feel settled, where you can feel relaxed. Put on a candle, put on some music prior. If you feel your heart's yearning and you're, and you're wanting a sense of connection or love, that's a great time to dive into this book and just really settle into those feelings and allow this teaching and these feelings to come through. In this process, I really don't want to point to specific elements and takeaways from the book. I really think it's important for everybody to read this title and really feel into, you know, really what is here. If you are a man, it allows you to place awareness on what, what a woman wants, what she's feeling, what each moment more or less kind of calls for. And you can intuit that and feel 
what those elements are and you can place them in your own history of your dating or even in your current relationship right now. So that's a, it's a really great tool to to know how you can meet the deepest desires of your feminine partner. For women, on the other hand, it's for them to feel into and open their hearts more to know that there is more love to give. Their body can reveal more love. They can uh, move through their life with deeper expressions of love. And it really doesn't require a masculine man to do those things. Of course, it helps both partners open up to deeper levels of love and connection and understanding when it's mutual. But you don't always require uh, another half to, to bring you towards your own wholeness or uh, deep gift giving and sacred gift giving in the world. And, and with that, trust and safety is of the utmost importance. You want to feel trustable yourself. You want to feel as though you can trust in somebody else. And it's really important for us to remember that we attract our reciprocal, our, our opposite. And so wanting a certain level of something in life, a relationship or a goal, a task, a level in your career, it requires you bringing yourself to that energetic level. So this book is really for anybody who wants to relate at a deeper and more loving level and be able to take care of their partner beyond what's in the physical. Okay, so I want to just go ahead and read a brief paragraph from the book uh, to really give you an idea about the overall element of the book. It's not encompassing of everything, but I, I think it highlights something really great here. Your body's openness, your capacity to surrender open with your whole body so your heart can be ravished and taken by love is a doorway to ecstatic spiritual depth with or without a man. If your body can't open, your heart can't shine. When your body is surrendering open with pleasure from deep within, then you can open and offer your heart fully from the inside out. And I'm also going to include this little piece in here uh, for the ladies as well. Love is the only way to live that won't leave your feminine heart feeling unseen, ungiven, empty, and wanting, no matter how successful your professional life may be. So this is a wonderful read. I'm glad I was able to uh, bring this one forth for this month and share this with women. I think it's great for women or men. So if you're in a couple, purchase this book and both of you can dive into it. Again, easy read. Just like the other book, The Way of the Superior Man, I think they're great companions, of course, from the same author. Thank you for joining me for this book review today and continue to stay in touch with my channel, my YouTube channel. Hit like, hit subscribe, turn on those notifications and engage with me in the comments. Let me know if there's anything you liked, didn't like, if there's something particularly about the book that you enjoyed when you read it or if you do read it, um, engage with me. I will certainly be responding back to all the comments and stay tuned here for this next video from David Dieta, the same author. The new title uh, of that book is called The Way of the Superior Man and continue to follow me on this journey. I look forward to sharing insights, some information, pointing you to some great new books that you may have heard of or you haven't heard of, tips and tools to help us take steps forward so that we can become the people we want to be, so we can attract the partners that we wish, the career, the goals, the money, and the freedom ultimately that we desire the most. So. Thank you. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.